um, I know that a lot of people came through and said, look, doing a PhD is a massive amount of work. How do I balance the job hunt mm -hmm. at the same time? That is that is a difficult one, and I think it's difficult because I mean, from my personal experience as a PhD student, and from many of my my friends and my colleagues, you get lost in the PhD. You get so intertwined yeah. in that bubble that is very difficult to look beyond um, beyond the boundaries of the PhD. Um, so the important thing for me, and I know it sounds a cliche, is basically to to understand your priorities yeah. and to manage your time. And why am I saying that? Because if you understand, for example, that the priority for you is to get, let's say, a, a postdoctoral fellowship, then that PhD eventually will need to start be to be considered as, a, okay, what are the publication outcomes of it? Um, when do I need to start planning, right? or disseminating or presenting mm. so I think the issue with managing uh, with, with balancing balancing the PhD and um, the job search is not an issue of time it's an issue of I'm overwhelmed mm. so it's about breaking it down to smaller compartments and saying okay I'll focus on this but I also need to set some time aside to start looking networking asking yeah. finding what I need to do yeah. um, so that, that's what I would say from, from my personal experience yeah and I just want to bang the point in again don't think so much about you know I, I'm doing this PhD I've got to find a job just think I'm doing this PhD and, and, and I'm going to focus on building relationships because that's not so overwhelming you know if you send somebody an article that might be of interest to them or you're building a relationship with somebody on Twitter who could it actually really influence your career you could you could send them an article and go I saw this day and thought of you give 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 ask that's what I always say you give you have three touch points you give 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 before you ask for an opportunity but once you do that and if you manage that well and just focus on building these relationships and adding value to people and making people feel special then um, then when it does come to the time when you need that opportunity, there will be so many more people that will be willing to help you. Nadine, how did um, how did you find that? Because I know that you got your role really quickly. Did you were you focusing on that while you were doing your PhD? Um, I was. I was doing all sorts of things next to my PhD and, and so in that sense my PhD was really just um, you know something I needed to do to get to the next step and I try to see it like that because it takes the pressure off a little bit as well. It, I had to remind myself every day that no one was expecting me to write a Nobel Prize winning speech or, or book or anything like this. It's you mean you haven't done that? <laughs> well, obviously. Um, but <laughs> that's still to come, you know, in press. That's tomorrow. Um, that's but, tomorrow. But I think What's also really important when we come back to the practicalities is, um, depending on the career you, you're applying for, depending on the job, you may not be considered until you actually have your PhD. That doesn't mean, though, that it harms you to start trying, because one of the things you also need to get into the habit of is how to write applications. Because you don't want to do that once the pressure is on, once you've finished and don't have a job. You want to start practicing that, ideally without pressure. Just think to yourself, okay, this is a job that I would apply for. I may not stand a chance right now, but I will actually get the application together because you'd be surprised how long it takes to get all those narratives together, yeah. to tidy up your CV, to make it relevant for that particular job. I so know. get into the habit of that beforehand, you know, when the pressure is maybe not yet on, mm. um, just so you've got something to draw on, some experience to draw on when you actually get there, when it counts. That's such good advice. So yeah, guys, get practicing on those applications. That's really good advice.